You all look so great standing there. Well, one thing would be a, an improvement, one big improvement, if you would all smile. <laughs> this is a very joyful moment, and I know you feel that joy in your hearts, so don't be afraid to show it in your faces. But you look so great when you smile especially, I'm tempted to just let you stand there and take it all in, but please be seated. In just a few moments, dear young women and men, the Holy Spirit is going to rush onto your soul and change you by making you stronger. You will be different when you go to sleep tonight than you were when you woke up this morning. You'll be different even if you don't feel it because the Holy Spirit will do what the Holy Spirit has determined to do and what you have freely consented to allow him to do. So it's a big deal and it's a big day. You'll never be the same. And you sp should spend a lot of time today thinking about that. The Holy Spirit doing for you what only the Holy Spirit can do. And he's going to, in this sacrament, give you those wonderful seven gifts. Wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, reverence, and fear of the Lord. Seven beautiful gifts. And I just want to reflect for a moment this morning on two of those. The last two, reverence and fear of the Lord. Let me reflect on those first. In today's gospel, we see why you and I need the gifts of reverence and fear of the Lord. What does it say? Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your mind and with all your strength. We need to think about that. what that means. That means loving God with everything we got, holding nothing back for myself or anybody else. Because only if I love God with my whole mind, my whole heart, and my whole strength, am I available to be completely loved by Him. He wants to love me first. But in order for Him to love me, there has to be a relationship there. And so we always struggle and strive each day to make that love of ours in response to God's love more and more complete. And in order to do that, we need the gift of reverence and fear of the Lord. And this is a gift that our whole society has lost terribly and that our whole society needs. Formality doesn't mean stuffy. It can mean reverent. When we act as though we respect one another. And we respect one another without exception. That takes us to that second commandment, love our neighbor as ourself. Now, that means once I accept God's love, that has to come first, and love him in return with all my mind, all my heart, and all my strength, once I do that, then God gives me the grace to give myself away completely to other people so that I love others as myself. And our Holy Father said just this morning, loving our neighbor as ourself is just as important as loving God. But it's not possible without loving God first. So the gifts of reverence and fear of the Lord lead us to love God first and then we can receive the tremendous gift to love our neighbor. And loving our neighbor is first of all a matter of justice. 
first and foremost a matter of justice. There can be no love without justice. And justice means what we hear in the first reading today. Justice means taking care of the poor because they deserve it, simply because they are human. Justice is giving people what they deserve. And just because they're human, they deserve to be cared for. The poor, the hungry are mentioned especially. It is true that thousands of people in the world, probably more like millions, are starving. And here I am. And I'm not the only one in here who's like this. There can be reasons for that, but putting that aside, why should I want to lose weight when so many millions are hungry? They can't get enough. Doesn't make a bit of sense. There's no justice there. And the Holy Spirit gives the gift of wisdom and understanding. Just like Solomon asked for an understanding heart, the Holy Spirit gives the gift of wisdom and understanding so that I will understand and then courageously live a life of justice. Always realizing, though, and this is the last point, always realizing that we by ourselves cannot build a just society and a just world. It can't be done. Final and full justice is the work of God in the afterlife. And if anyone says that he hungers and thirsts for justice, that's the same thing as saying he hungers and thirsts for the afterlife. Because the afterlife is our only hope for full and final judgment it will never come in this world. We are not capable by ourselves of bringing it about. But we are capable of doing the best we can. And when we look at millions of starving people, we're simply not doing the best we can. So wisdom and understanding you receive this morning for the sake of justice, the first reading tells us and you receive reverence and fear of the Lord for the sake of loving God with your whole heart, your whole mind, and your whole strength, so that you may love your neighbor as yourself. These are beautiful, precious gifts. And there are many more from the Holy Spirit this morning. The Holy Spirit, in fact, is going to give you everything you need to face the challenges of life in today's world. Every last grace you need, but you have to remain open. And so now as the Holy Spirit comes upon you unto strength, open your hearts wide to the Holy Spirit. Take a big drink of the Holy Spirit. Overdose on the Holy Spirit. It's the only overdose there is that not only won't hurt you, but is the very best thing in the world for you to take at this particular moment.